Hi, it's Super Filter Laptop Magazine. We're here today at CS 2014 looking at the Meta Pro augmented reality glasses. Uh, so these are really very different from what you've seen from Google Glass. They give you a complete immersive binocular experience. They are 720p, 16 times the resolution of Google Glass. They are in front of your face. They're not over on your eyebrow where you have to kind of peer out of your field of view to use them. And the goal is to really have an immersive experience where everything you see kind of comes through the glasses and can be filtered. Uh, you can filter out maybe in the future ads. You can change sort of what you see to, to put augmented reality stuff on top of it. Do, uh, do face recognition and sort of learn more about a person that you're looking at or an object that you're looking at. All the benefits of augmented reality. Plus, this is hooked up to a Core i5 processor. So you could actually use this to run Windows or Mac OS or Linux. And the goal is to actually have it replace your laptop. And you'll even be able to type on a flat surface with your fingers on a virtual keyboard or control a mouse pointer with your finger. And this will be your, your only PC, perhaps, in the near future. So uh, as we look at this, we're looking at this uh, Unity 3D interface. And we're going to use a program here called uh, the Zero UI Modeler. And what you do, and what I have to do is I have my finger up here, and, I, and what you see behind me on the screen is what I'm seeing, only the black areas on that screen are see-through to me. So I'm, I'm seeing through what is being projected. And I see a button here, and I, to hit it, I just need to press it. So now here are two objects, and I'm going to zoom in on, to move in on them with my fingers. And, and now I'm going to actually make a, make a 3D model. Right, just by moving my hands around like Iron Man. Now I've made the model, right? I hit this button to confirm that I've made it. You can see that I just got to target my finger at it. And then I'm gonna open up my hands and grasp it in a fist. So now I'm dragging this virtual object and I'm gonna drag it over to this box here and let go. And now it's gonna convert this object that I 3D modeled into real code and send it to the 3D printer over there uh, where it's gonna be printed for real and uh, the virtual object that I created will become a real-world object. So, uh, so a lot like Iron Man in the movies, and in fact, the guy who created the Iron Man interface is is helping uh, helping Meta work on this. Uh, I'm able to take to model something with my hands and turn it into a real-world object, and that is just really the tip of the iceberg for these glasses and this technology, which I could use for entertainment purposes to to stare at a wall and see a movie to run my operating system while I'm walking around, to get to recognize objects and feed information back to me, or even to be an ad blocker for the real world and block out ads on the subway that I don't want to see. Uh, so, so this is just a, a world of potential here in these MetaPro glasses. They'll be coming this spring uh, for $3,000, and developers are starting to work on applications for them now. So uh, we look forward to seeing, to seeing how this develops. This is Avram Pilch uh, with the Metapro Glasses at CS 2014.